The Kelly XLR was just unveiled today by the legend Ernesto himself. This has to be the most ridiculous electric skateboard ever. In a good way. The battery is in a 20S8P arrangement. It has 2960 watt hour battery capacity. For example, the X-Wave Flex has a battery capacity of 259 watt hours. The XLR has more than 10 times the battery capacity of a mid to entry level electric skateboard. The expected range is about 65 miles to 95 miles, depending on how you ride it and your weight. The battery is powered by Samsung 50E cells. Electronic hydraulic stabilization is one of the most interesting features for this board. The electronic hydraulic stabilization only kicks in above 25 miles per hour. So it gives you stabilization at high speeds, but also maneuverability at lower speed. The hydraulics also comes in in three stiffness levels, so you can adjust as needed based on the terrain and the rider's skill level. The trucks still use bushings to adjust the feel of the board when it's under 25 miles per hour. The motor is a 63-100 motor at 110 kV. These motors are huge. The motors has a peak power of 10,000 watts. The board also features a new metal helical gear. The gear sizes are 12 over 38. There's also metal on metal. This should give you an instantaneous torque and less rolling resistance and also durability because it's metal. Advanced aluminum hubs. They look great, but I don't really have much to comment on them. The wheels are 210 by 75 millimeter four ply tires. The deck is a W concave shaped deck. It allows a 32 inch foot stance. The total weight of the board should be about 53.5 pounds. The length is about 48.5 inch from tire to tire. The width is about 18.5 inches from rim to rim, and the height is about 8.5 inches. Also, a company called eBoosted is making a new enclosure. It is a matte carbon fiber finish. It will be light and strong. The electronic system has a new smart BMS. It's called the DALI BMS. I'll include it in the link below for you to see it. It also uses spent end ESC. The current model on the website is compatible with VESC or VESC. I'll, I will also include this link below for you to see it. 4,400 lumens. This is mind-boggling bright. And I thought my 3,000 lumen light torch was bright, but this is going to be brighter. Some other things include resale value should remain high because you can quickly swap out the battery. Some of the other notable things is that remote is TBD, but Ernesto did show us um, a Hoyt puck, so that may be in the consideration. Also, the board comes in red and black. I think the black that looks absolutely amazing. Now comes the price. The price is a whopping $6,350. I'm going to refrain from commenting on the price of this board, um, but let's just say if I do have the money, I would definitely get this board. It looks absolutely amazing. The electronic hydraulic stabilization sounds super, super interesting. And the 95 mile range just is wow. Like I can go anywhere. I can, this is absolutely, absolutely crazy. So if I miss anything, please let me know down below. What do you think of the Kali XLR? Are you going to get it? Are you going to sell your firstborn or left kidney to get it? Please let me know. Thanks. And also please support small upstart channels like mine with a click of that subscribe button. You'll make the eSkate gods very happy today by clicking that button.